Yo, what's up everybody? Shiski here, man. Today we're back with another banger video. And today's video is about the losses. Look, guys, if you take a loss, you got to be okay with it, man. Like, that's that's a new thing I'm starting to learn. Like, it's not a L, it's a lesson. Like, it's literally a lesson. Like, every time you take a loss in life, no matter if it's like, you know, with a girl, you know, monetary-wise, anything like that, it's always something to learn at the end of the tunnel. Like, once everything's said and done, once all the you know emotions get out of it, it's always something to be learned. That's something I've been learning, and that's what you got to look at every loss as. If you look at it as a lesson, you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to just stop getting your feelings too much because most people, you know what I'm saying, something bad will happen to them, and, you know, they, they be in their feelings for a long time. They don't do nothing. They sit down. They become lazy. No, you got to look at it like, okay, this was supposed to happen to me. This happened to me for what reason? Let's say, for example, like, you, you talk to a girl, she breaks your heart. Every man went through that story, right? So once she breaks your heart, you need to understand, like, okay, all right, this is what happened. She broke my heart. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it sh I feel like it shouldn't have happened, but let's do some self-evaluation. Maybe I wasn't the man I need to be. Maybe I maybe I should have been in shape more. You start realizing a lot of things, and not and not just doing it because of her, but you'll start realizing a lot of things that you could have been doing that you wasn't doing when you was with her that you should be doing that you're gonna do. Like, say for example, you're neglecting your business to hang out with friends, and you fall out with those same friends. You might be like, okay, yeah, I do miss being around my friends and everything like that. But guess what? Now I realize that. I can't put, you know, stuff before my friends. It was a toxic situation putting all this stuff before my friends. So you learn a lot. That's why I said, like, everything is always something to take from every situation. Even things like, you know, if somebody tells you something that you're wrong at, yeah, you might be mad. Yeah, you might not want to hear what they're talking about in the moment. But then when you sit down and actually think about it, well, yeah, it had to go that way for an exact reason. Because if it didn't go that way, Look how far you got now that it did go that way. Think about if it didn't go that way or you didn't learn what you learned from that situation. That's why I try to do. I try to look for every lesson I can gather from every situation. Because like I said, if you're not living to strive to be the best version of yourself every day, what's the point, you know? You should be striving to be the best version of yourself. You should be striving to learn more about you, learn who you are as a person, you know, learn, find the best people to deal with, all that kind of stuff. That's your, you know, your journey going through life. You're trying to figure it out. And every day you should be figuring it out, no matter how old you are, because it's always something to learn by every situation. And that's why I feel like most time should be spent just learning. Think about everything is a lesson. Because I say, I, I go through everything too, man. Like, every time like, I'd be like, man, like, why me? You know, don't, but I don't want y'all to get into that mentality. Be like, man, why me? Why me? Why me? Why does it all of a sudden happen to me? Why does all this bad stuff keep happening to me? I, I preach self evaluation. You got to self evaluate sometimes. Don't, don't be a victim. Do not be a victim in life. Please do not. You don't need to be a victim out here. Understand that, yes, things happen to everybody. It's people over there overseas right now that's probably, you know, getting their heads chopped off and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to deal with that. And if you don't have to deal with that, you're blessed already. You're already blessed for being alive. You think about that every day. You're blessed for being alive. All this extra crap in between, that's extra crap. It's not nothing that you should be dwelling all your time on and be so worried about it to where it's messing you up to the point that you can't eat, you can't sleep. I'm just being honest, bro, because I've been there. I've been in those situations. And I learned a lot from them. So now I learned be the best version as possible, be the most capable man as possible, be the strongest man as you can be, you know, be prepared for anything, you know, be ready to protect your family if you have to. That's what you should be focused on and making as much money as possible. That's what you should be focused on. Don't be focused on all this extra stuff, man. Friends, relationships, family. I mean, focus on family, though, a little bit, but all the extra stuff, bro, you know what I'm saying? Don't let it don't let it get to you to the point where it's messing you up because you know who you are. You're a great person at heart, man. Just keep working, keep doing your thing, and you're going to be successful. Well, all right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hope it, you know, you know, brighten the mood and, you know, help you all out and hope you all, you know, gain something from it. It's your boy Shisky here signing off. Y'all be safe. Have a very blessed rest of your day. Peace.